All right, guys, well, that happened quick. It's about 10 degrees out here today. We went from long sleeve shirts to heavy winter coats in like two weeks. It's gonna be a long winter, boys. So today we've got part two of our concrete penetration series. And these videos, we basically just test different guns versus a giant slab of concrete to see how many rounds it takes to get all the way through. A couple weeks ago, we did the Steyr AUG. And I told you guys in that video, I would like to do this with different guns. So today, we're gonna compare probably two of the most common rifles in the entire world. The AR-14 versus the AK-46. The AR-14. The AR-14 is the one. No, it's the AR-15 and the AK-47, and I would say these two rifles, or at least a variant of these rifles in the same caliber, are probably used in more countries throughout the world than any other guns. So they are very common. Now these two guns have been compared on the internet for decades in just about every test you can imagine. Usually people are looking for less penetration for home defense and stuff like that. In this test, we're looking for maximum penetration to find which calibers are best at defeating hard barriers. The concrete we have is basically a 16 inch deep, 100 pound slab in a five gallon bucket. And we have two of them one for each caliber. It is just hand mixed concrete, so it's probably not the hardest stuff out there, but for this test, I think it'll work. And I would say these are probably thicker than most concrete walls that you would find in the wild, so should be interesting. By the way, my prediction is that the AK will win by a very wide margin, but I'm wrong in pretty much every video, so let's find out. And just to show you the two calibers, we've got the 5.56 by 45, our AR-15 cartridge, and the 762 by 39, our AK-47 cartridge. The 5.56 is smaller, lighter, faster. The 762 is bigger, heavier, and slower. They say the 762 is better at defeating hard barriers because it is a bigger, heavier bullet. However, with certain things like body armor, for instance, it's actually velocity that's most important when you're trying to get through. So I'm curious to see how this one goes. But before we do our penetration test, let's do the Coors Light test because guns and beer is always a good combination. That's a joke, but I have two of these bad boys, so we'll hit them with each caliber and see what the damage is. And you can see just from sitting outside for like 30 minutes, the mountains are already turning blue. That should give you an idea of how freaking cold it is out here today. We'll go ahead and start with the 5.56 since it is the smaller of the two. Coors Light's actually not a bad beer. I usually like to shoot stuff that I hate, but. This is what we got, so let's do it. I'm soaked. All right, the 5.56 did quite a bit of damage. You can see where it went in right there. And then there is where it came out. Pretty much split this thing in half. It did stay intact, but definitely did a lot of damage and all the beer immediately froze. <laughs> well, it smells like my college apartment out here. Let's go ahead and try the 762 by 39. Full metal jacket. <laughs> that one got me. And the 7.62 by 39. I think this one definitely did a little more damage. They both just split the cans completely in half from the top down, but the 7.62 opened it up quite a bit more and there is nothing left inside of that one. The 5.56 did leave a little frozen beer in there, so pretty similar results. All right, guys, let's start the penetration test. First, I'm just gonna shoot one round from each gun so we can compare the damage, then we'll start doing some mag dumps. Shoot the 5.56 first. Going for that one on the left. By the way, we are pretty far away because it's kind of a sketchy target to shoot close, so I'm just going to try to keep the shots as accurate as I can. And the 762 by 39. Let's check them out. Let's take a look. This is our 5.56, and I would say that is at least two to two and a half inches deep into that concrete. You can see where the actual bullet went, 
and it's probably an inch deeper than the collateral damage that it caused around it. So not bad. The 762 by 39 has a similar hole, probably also two to two and a half inches, but the actual bullet is still in there. Hopefully you guys can see that. So it looks like the 556 either exploded or bounced out or the 762 just stuck right into the concrete. But surprisingly, the penetration looks about the same. The velocity of the 556 is definitely its biggest strength, and that's probably why the penetration is about the same. But it's also why the bullets tend to fragment on impact when they hit things like concrete, where the 762 will just punch right through. And that's kind of what we saw there, so. Let's do some mag dumps. But before we do that, I'm sure you noticed the Holosun HS515GM that I have on my AR-15 here. That is thanks to Sportsman's Guide, who is sponsoring today's video. Every time I need something outdoor related, I go to sportsmansguide.com first. And that is the truth, because they literally have everything you could think of. If you hunt, there's probably not a better store on the internet. But it's not just hunting. They have fishing, camping, hiking, clothing, ATV, shooting, truck accessories and more. They've got a ton of shooting accessories and great optics like this hollow sun here and they also carry a full line of vortex optics which those are the two brands that I go to if I can't afford to put an $800 red dot on every single rifle that I get. Because in my opinion, they are every bit as good for a fraction of the price. And if you join the Buyers Club, you will get 10% off most items in the store, 5% off ammo, and free shipping on orders that are $49 and up. And if you use our coupon code, OneShotTV, you will save $20 off your first 100 spent. So check them out, that is sportsmansguide.com. And again, I wanna thank Sportsman's Guide for supporting the channel and sponsoring today's video. All right, we'll go in 10 round increments. We just shot one, so I've got nine more in the mag and we'll see how quickly we can chew through this concrete by the way the ar we're using is the 16 inch bcm recce i do have other ars but this one's just my favorite so that's why i use it all the time nine shots Making a pretty big hole. <laughs> and the 762 by 39. These are very small targets, by the way, to keep all the shots on top of each other. I'm probably 40 yards away, so I'm trying my best. This one has iron sights, which is definitely not easy. I think I hit the cinder block next to it. <laughs> I might have to put one more on that one because I think I hit the cinder block to the left with one of those bullets. That's where the red dot is really nice to have. Let's check them out. And this is the damage after 10 shots from each of those guns. The AK is definitely doing a much better job of getting through that concrete. You can see most of those shots are going low and left, so I'm gonna try to fix that and bring them up here. But that's a lot of damage for only 10 rounds. We're probably a third of the way through already. The 556 is doing a good job as well, and it's chewing through there, but not as much as the 762. 10 more. Smoking. That might be the best sound in the entire gun world. <laughs> and the worst iron sights. These things suck. I can't see it. All right, this is after 20 rounds from each gun. You can see we've got some damage to our bucket from the 5.56. It's definitely getting through there. Um, like I said, I'm so far away, it's kind of hard to tell exactly where they're going, but they are chewing through it. And then the 7.62, <laughs> 
has quite a bit more damage. And again, I'm almost positive that I missed one or two of those because I fired when all that dust was kind of covering the concrete. But you can see we are probably halfway through this one at least. There's one of our AK bullets, or at least the jacket right there. I've noticed around this one, I'm seeing a lot of bullets, fragments, copper jacket, stuff like that. Whereas on the 556, I'm not seeing any of that. So I'm not sure if these bullets are just breaking apart completely on impact or what, but you can see from the 762, we've got quite a few fragments over here. And just to show you all, after 20 rounds, we have no exit holes on the bottoms of either of these buckets. All right, I moved up a little bit. I think if I place my shots correctly, the AK could probably get through it pretty soon, so. We'll see, five, five, six, 10 more shots. We have nine regular, and then our last round is a tracer. We'll see if it works. Let the smoke clear a little bit. Nothing. <laughs> Last time we did that, it stuck in the concrete and burnt for three or four seconds. It was actually pretty cool. Ten more rounds with the AK. This is really why I moved up, because I think we're doing the AK a disservice by shooting far away with iron sights and not getting those shots very accurate. So let's see if we can get through it. Damn. This one hits so much harder than the 556. It was like raining concrete on me all the way back here. Nine more. <laughs> Man. We gotta be close. All right, this is the damage after 30 rounds from each of these guns. It's probably more like 28 from the 7.62, to be honest, because we definitely had a couple misses over here. And you can see, we probably still have a third of the way to go on this one, which is more than I thought we would have. I figured we'd probably be getting close to getting through that thing. I can see a bullet right there. Don't know if y'all can see it, but it is stuck right in that concrete. And then on this one, we probably have half of it left. So the AK is definitely doing better. This concrete might be a little bit harder than the stuff we used in the last video, because if I remember correctly, it took 35 rounds from the 5.56 to get through it last time, and we are not even close at 30. Rounds 30 to 40. I think I only put seven. Looks like it's pretty much gone. And after about 35 rounds, the 762 by 39 finally made it all the way through that concrete. You can see there are still some pretty big pieces in there, but for the most part, it's just all rubble. And eventually it just broke it down to where it was able to sneak through. So there's bullet fragments all over. It's just mostly gravel at this point. We have an entire 762 by 39 bullet right there, which is pretty cool. And then the 556 probably still has about a third of the way to go. So there's your answer. And just to show you the bottoms of these, you can see there are no exit holes from the 556. And then on this one, we've got one, two bullet holes at least, and then another massive hole right there 
where it just broke the entire bucket. And I think it was pretty clear from the very beginning that the 762 is far superior at defeating hard barriers like concrete. Just the way those bullets were hitting, the shrapnel, the sounds of the impact, it was doing a lot more damage than the 556. It just took a little longer than I thought it would, but <laughs> that's a lot of concrete. All right, let's see if we can finish off the other one. We're closing in on 50 shots here. Still don't think we're through it. Good grief. Nope, still no exit holes. We are close, probably an inch of concrete left, but still not through it. All right, I've got five more rounds in here and then I'm done. This will literally be 60 rounds of 556 five, versus that slab of concrete, so. Hopefully this does it. I don't know. Five more. I'm literally putting them all in the exact same spot too. Finally. And we finally did it. So there's your answer. 65 rounds from the 556 versus roughly 35 rounds from the 762 by 39 Big difference. To be honest, I'm just glad to be done shooting this stuff. It took quite a few more rounds than I thought it would, especially from the AR-15. This concrete must be a lot harder than the stuff we shot in the last video. Or the Styrog really is just more powerful. So there you have it. In this video, the AK-47 got through that 100 pound slab of concrete about twice as fast as the AR-15 did. 65 rounds versus 35 rounds, give or take a few. So the 7.62 is far superior at hard barrier penetration, at least when it comes to concrete. I have a feeling this video is gonna be way too long. That wasn't my intention. Um, hope y'all enjoyed it. <laughs> if you did, please hit the like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Now I have no idea how this happened. The metal handle from our five gallon bucket literally got punched right through the table with a perfect little hole, almost like a bullet just threaded it through there. And then on the bottom, you can see where it's coming out the other side. <laughs> That's a first.